Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a high carb, low fat vegan food taste test. And we have 10 different things here to try. Um, all of them are oil free, vegan. We wanted to try things that were like things that we would normally eat because I know there's like a lot of vegan foods that are like tofurkey and things like that, which we could try, but it's not something that we would ever really eat on a daily basis. So we wanted to find like a bunch of healthy foods and try them out and see what they're like and something that you know you could use like as a backup if you're traveling or just or just know. for some shit that you want to eat yeah if you just like want to eat some junkier high carb low fat vegan food which I wouldn't say like any of this is really like that junky but obviously it has more preservatives and things like that than like your normal rice and beans yeah everything's soy free as well yeah, everything's soy free. I think there's only one oil free. thing. Oil free, soy free. There's only one thing that has gluten, I think. Here we go. So the first thing that we're gonna try are these watermelon agave fruit bars. And they're basically just, um, the ingredients are water, watermelon juice, filtered water, sugar, agave nectar, and then some like guar gums, anthem gum, whatever. But they have zero grams of fat, 40 calories, pretty healthy, I think. I'd say so. On a, like a hot summer day, you know. Tastes like watermelon. Yeah. It's good. It literally tastes like watermelon juice. You don't have to eat the whole thing. If I want to eat the whole thing, I'm going It literally tastes just like watermelon. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'd give it like an eight. So the next thing, is this fig balsamic dressing. It's the 365 Health Starts Here brand. So if you don't know, like this brand that Whole Foods makes, it's all um, <laughs> oil-free, low sodium, and I think pretty much all of it is vegan as well. I just put it in this bowl with like a little bit of spinach. You can try it like that, because that's all we yeah. had for grease. Okay. I like, I doused it in dressing, so we'd okay. be able to give a fair view of the dressing. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. I think it's good for like a fat free, oil free dressing. Mm -hmm. Most of them taste very fakeish. Like, you know, a bunch of chemicals and crap. That was pretty good. This is pretty good though. So, the next thing that we have is this organic whole bean, whole grain red beans and rice from Lundberg. And a lot of them had like oil and crap in them. This one doesn't. Um, it's basically just rice and beans with a bunch of seasonings. That's what it looks like. Yeah. It tastes like a healthier version of like Zatarans. The red beans and rice. I don't love the texture of the rice though. It's not like rice you'd cook in your rice cooker. No. It's more like grainy. It was good. Yeah. I'd still give it like an eight though. Just cause uh, it's got like really a li you're really limited by your options when you're going like oil free and fat free. Yeah. yeah. So this one I'm like a little bit scared to try. We've actually had it forever from a vegan cuts box that we got. It just looks kind of scary. I don't know. But it's just organic seitan. So it says it's made from wheat protein, red beans, and sprouted lentils. It doesn't have any fat in it. I don't think it's fl like f has a flavor at all. We're just gonna have to try this like right out of this. <laughs> I'm just like a little. Bit, I'm not a big fake meat person. Yeah. But it is. I mean, it is a really healthy alternative if you like fake yeah. meats and you don't really like tofu. Like, seitan is. I mean, it's pretty whole. It's all whole foods pretty much. It does not <laughs> look good. <laughs> oh. <Ew. laughs> It's like dog food, like yeah, literally. It's pretty good though. Doesn't smell like doesn't smell like dog food. No, but we're probably gonna end up giving this to the dogs. It's alright. It's not bad. It, I don't know. it tastes very like proteinish. Yeah. It tastes kind of like meatloaf. It does, yeah, a little bit. I don't like it. It says water that down. So it's yeah. crazy. Give it a seven. I think it's still alright. I'll give it like a four. I would never eat that. 
So next we have these woven wheats by 365 brand. All that's in these, the ingredients are whole wheat and salt, and they have one gram of fat per serving. So they're very, very healthy. Derek loves crackers and chips, so. Yeah, anything in a cracker or a chip form is just like, under it. Very plain, but they're good. It'd be good if they made like some herb, herb flavored ones or something, mm. but I only found these. The other ones all had oil and fat in them. I'll give them like a seven. For a fat free fry for me. Yeah, I'll give them like an eight. I think they're good. So to kind of go with that, we got this Nacho Moms fat free ultimate vegan queso. It's natural, vegan, no allergens, no gluten, no GMOs, and wicked good. So we'll try it on some crackers. Uh, it's a spray me in the eye. It smells, it smells like nacho cheese. Yeah, it does, eh? It's all right. I'd give it like a three. I'd give it like a nine. I think this is really good. <laughs> you can eat it then. I is there something that's totally fat free and vegan? I think it tastes kind of fake. I like it. Okay. I need something to like water that down. Next we have these coconut waters by Naked Juice. I don't really like normal, like just the coconut water that comes in packaging because it doesn't taste like a real coconut. Like if you had coconut water out of a coconut, it tastes totally different. But these sounded good. So this one is pineapple. It has coconut water with pineapple and this one's with mango peach juice. Which one do you want? I think it's okay. Here. Yours tastes Yours. more flavor yeah. than me. The, the, the peach one tastes more like peach. This has got only like a hint of uh, pineapple flavor. And I'd give it mm. like a six. It's good. It's better than the normal plain yeah. coconut water that you get. But I feel like they should add some more sugar and some more pineapple <laughs> juice. <laughs> They're trying to make it healthy. Just throw some sugar in there. And I'd, I'd give it like a six as well. It's You're all right. You're supposed to just keep eating in between these. <laughs> I can do what I want. It's just eating the nacho cheese as we go. Oh. Next we have McDougal's chicken flavor vegan noodle soup. Apparently this is his most popular soup. Looks really good. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. It's good, right? I'd give it an eight or nine. I'd give this like a nine. I haven't had a soup like this. It has a ton of noodles as well, but I haven't had like a good noodle soup, honestly, since I've been vegan. <laughs> this is definitely a nine or 10. Good job, McDougal. Good job. Okay, so the last thing that we have is one of these That's It bars. People are always talking about them and I've never tried them, but this is the apple mango one. The only thing that's in here is apple and mango. That's it. So, yeah. It's pretty good. It literally tastes like an apple. And a mango mixed together. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> I like how it's like thicker though, and it's not just mm -hmm. like a piece of dried fruit. I give it like a seven. Yeah, maybe like a six. It's good, it tastes like dried fruit. Yeah. Cool, so that is all the stuff that we had today. If you guys have anything that you want us to like try in the future that's high carb, low fat, you've been like wondering what it tastes like or whatever, leave it in the comments box below. I'm gonna try and do these every month. It's just, the options are kind of limited when you go to the store, but there are like a lot of cereals and other types of mock meats and stuff. Like there's pulled jackfruit that we saw and like tons of other stuff and dressings that we could try. So if you have anything that you want us to check out while we're there next time, leave it below and we'll just end up collecting a bunch of stuff for our next high carb, low fat vegan food taste test. You can eat the rest of your food now. Yes. <laughs> cool. cool, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.